Hey guys, my name's Carl Golden and welcome to Golden Studios. So over the weekend I was at PMT Live, which was in Birmingham. It was kind of like a guitar show and a performance thing. So I played at the PMT Live on the Saturday and it was awesome. There'll be another video about that coming out maybe Friday. I've got some clips of myself playing and some other artists. Look out for that. So I was at the show with Shergold Guitars and I was playing through my Boss Katana 50 which I got recently and I've just been blown away by the sounds from this amp. I only bought it for about £180 and it's just incredible. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today. So at PMT I knew that the Boss guys were there, we had Mark and James. They were demonstrating all the different gear they have. So they've got a brand new amp called the Next Tone series and you get the next tone artist and the next tone stage i think it's 80 watt and 50 watt maybe a 40 watt not too sure but whatever one he was playing that day sounded incredible so first up we have james who's looking at the boss katana 50 the one that i have combined with the gt 1000 and a few other pedals as well in the second half of this video, you're going to see Mark showcasing the next tone amps. So once again, combined with the GT1000 and the amp, it seems to be a winning combination. <laughs> hey, lovely weather we're having. We're here at the guitar show. We're checking out all kinds of awesome boss goodies, but right now we're having a listen to the GT1000. The latest and greatest in multi-effects hardware. It's the first. 32-bit processor multi-effects on the market. Now, 32-bit processing doesn't sound very sexy, but what that actually means is that basically we cannot trip up the processing power of the unit. That means that however many effects that we're going to be running at one time, it doesn't matter, we can jump from one preset to another preset to another preset. All our delay tails are going to sound sweet, our shimmers, all that good stuff. Let's not forget, most importantly, it makes a great old noise. I'm running it in stereo through the Boss Katana yeah, hey. 50 and the Blues Cube artist, um, which we're running clean because all we want to hear is the uh, deliciousness of the GT1000. Um, shall we make a noise? Let's do it. Let's kick some buttocks. Basically, as dumb a thing as it seems to be, I'm just going to play some like, nice chords that help you hear how delightfully articulate the note separation is. Uh, check it out. Mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> so this is just a standard kind of rocking tone. Um, but listen to how well it responds to the guitar, how, it how nicely it cleans up. So. stuff at guitar shows. The neighbours don't thank me for it, but since we're here, let's go for something prettier, shall we? Uh, oh, I've got a treat for you. So, we're going to go for uh, the sexually titled Guitar Pad Zero One. But listen, this has got a really pretty shimmer reverb on there, bit of delay, bit of this, a little bit of secret sauce, let's see what happens. scratching the surface. Effectively what we've got going on here is our latest Tube Logic and AIRD aired technology that enables us to not only get access to the kind of amp sounds that we've been finding in the massively successful Katana line lately, but also the processing power from our 500 series effects which you'll see down here. 
uh, effectively we, we've ripped uh, algorithms directly from the 500 series, jammed them straight into here, along we've got about, at the moment got, I think there are about 15 amplifiers in there as well, all of them sound as gorgeously fat and expressive as what we've heard. What I recommend you do is get down to PNT now and try one out. Thank you, good night. volumes on full where I can control the overall volume via the power control and also the channel volume on it when the master controls on full you essentially have the, the power amp stage valve glowing even though there's no valves on it um, but you don't have to worry about popping the valves and blowing them and maintaining them what that gives you it gives you it's just this real nice like, it's compressed you know it's it's just like the, the amps really I think it just sounds really, really smooth. But I'm coming from an era where I'm used to using really old valve amps and turning them up on full. That's why I'm probably deaf in most ears. <laughs> but now having that um, that feel of this little sound. <laughs> the other thing that you can do on this amplifier as well is once you find your ideal say clean sound then you may want to find your ideal crunch sound so you can mix and match like you could have an American sound on the clean and a British sound on the crunch you can then alter the you know the tube sag the bias things like that you can run them a little bit hotter this is all done via the editor software that you can get which is free with this but essentially you can become your own amp tech um, for me, as always with these things, it's the feel instantly that I pick up on as how does this react. It's just really, really responsive. 
switch it over to say the crunch nice, channel man. as well. Check out the next tone, the boss next tone now. Um, we've been really lucky this weekend because this is the, the only, I think it's the only one that's in the country this weekend, but they will be in the shops within the next couple of weeks. So I definitely recommend checking it out. Make some noise. Cheers, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you thought in the comment sections below i think these amps are just crazy man i'm so impressed i think this is going to be my rig from now on for live performances so simple but beautiful love it boss you've done well you've done well <laughs> oh i forgot to mention as well i purchased the fs6 pedal so you can use this pedal in combination with your Boss Katana 50 and you can switch between your four different presets. So you can change between, let's say, a gain, then a gain with delay, or you can set one to a clean, a clean with a chorus pedal or reverb. You could basically play around with four different settings. I think if you get the Boss Katana 100, you get more presets and things, but I'm not too sure. But it's worth purchasing the pedal with this so you can play it live. So I had to run out on Friday night before the weekend and quickly get to my guitar shop before it closed and grab one of these because it was a last minute decision to play this bad boy and it was the right decision. Big thanks to these guys and my patrons. They support me for five or seven dollars a month and in return they get back in tracks and tabs and they guarantee that their suggestion for my next 100 riffs, either acoustic, guitar or bass, is on there with their name saying they suggested it. Also, if they want to be in my next 100 riffs played by you, which I'm still waiting for it to build up so I've got a bit more selection of riffs that can come on the video. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you for something else very soon.